What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. For breakfast, I didn't have anything. For lunch, um, I didn't, uh, God, okay, so I woke up. I woke up at like 10, um, and then at around, um, what am I saying? Yeah, so I woke up at about 10, and then at uh, 11, um, I, uh, walked to my friend's house. Turns out he lives, like, 600 feet away. Literally. Like, he lived, like, the street across from mine. And he needed a SATA cable. Um, and I have a whole bunch of SATA cables from doing my NAS server stuff, so, um, I just walked to his house and just put a couple on his front door because he asked for them, for some. Um, uh, yeah, then I walked home. And that was cool. Um, one second. Um, okay. Yeah, anyway, um, so, yeah, then I did that. Uh, then I did my laundry, I took a shower, um, and then my mom came home early from work, because she does, she gets paid hourly, and she isn't allowed to work overtime, and she works like eight and a half hours every day, so on Friday she has to come home a little early, so it was around, uh, later at noon, and, uh, my mom came home, and I was thinking about what I should do, and I was like, man, should I have noodles? Should I have, like, mac and cheese? Should I have, like, top ramen? And my mom was like, hey, we should go to this fall place. And, you know, I had been thinking about, me, me and my mom had both been thinking about going to this. That's a weird swoop in my hair. Um, me and my mom had both thought about going to this fall place for a while. So, um, it was a pretty good opportunity. We went there. It was really cool. It was just like a repurposed house. It was really fun. Um, it was like pretty much um what uh it was pretty much just like uh there's like a fireplace that obviously wasn't used for a very long time but there were so many options on the menu there were so many things you could get i got like pork pork ramen um and it was not ramen i got pork pho and uh, it was really, really tasty. It was super good. Um, we also got some fried rice on the side, and we got that to go, of course, because we can both eat big pho bowls and also fried rice. So, of course, we got that to go. And um, Yeah, it was really good. I think it was the first time I'd ever had pho. I knew what pho was. Like, I could imagine how it would taste, too, and it tasted about how I would imagine it. Um, oh, I should plug in my phone. While I'm over here, I'll get my boots. Um, yeah, uh, what is happening here? Yeah, and it was, it was really tasty. Um, and yeah, on the way home, my mom and I got, dad, uh, some McDonald's, uh, cause he doesn't really like, like noodles that much. Um, and McDonald's is tasty, so. And yeah, I convinced my mom to get me an ice cream cone at McDonald's cause I was under the assumption that it was $1.00. It was like 269, so I felt I felt really bad afterwards cuz like god, what? I thought the ice cream cones at McDonald's were a dollar. I didn't know like what I don't I didn't know they increased the price. Um but yeah, my face is looking a lot better. It's kind of crazy. Um I'm I'm grateful to hydrocortisone. If you're ever having weird eczema on your face, uh hydrocortisone just fixes it immediately. So um yeah, what else? I have the YouTube upload thing. Like, I, I haven't turned on my computer all day, and I have the <laughs> upload video from last night here. Um, what else? Yeah, so after that, um, we went home, uh, and then my parents drove me to Safeway, and then from Safeway, I took the bus to, um, to therapy, and therapy is pretty good. Um, I took a special bus there. It's a bus that's like designed to take you to the airport, but it just so happened that I could um, use it to get to therapy. Um, so I took the sort of airport bus um, and it was really nice. It was really comfy. It had like squishy seats. Um, 
it uh, had some shelves. It, it was really cool. Um, and I've never ridden on one of those buses before, but I see them and they seem really nice, right? So I was on it, it was great. I got off, you know, then I got on um, another bus, which is Seattle, their transit is controlled by like three transit agencies, but they all sort of interconnect. Um, I don't know why, but then I got on another bus that was controlled by, um, that doesn't do airport stuff. Um, that was pretty good. Their seats were also squishy. It was weird. It was like a newer bus, and I think it was the first time I had been on a newer bus of that type. Um, but, um, what else? Uh, one sec, one sec. Um, yeah, and I took the bus to therapy, and I feel like it was pretty productive. Um, and, um, yeah, when my mom and I were at, um, the pho place, and when I was at, um, therapy, I was wearing these boots with the new paracord laces. Um, they feel pretty good. They didn't get any looser, and I think I'm probably gonna keep them. Um, you know, when I was walking, and I had to, I, you know, to get to therapy, you have to walk next to a highway, um, and it's, like, fine. Like, it, it's a pretty big sidewalk. It's just, like, you know, it's, it's, there are a lot of cars going toward you pretty fast, and it's just a good peace of mind to know that your shoelaces are brightly glowing in their vision. It, it's good to know. Um, and, yeah, um, what else? Uh, yes, I got to therapy. It felt pretty productive. Um, then on my way home, I took the a bus to the local strip mall, um, and my friend who works at McDonald's told me the McDonald's code, and I just walked into McDonald's and I typed in the code, just walked in, didn't even look at anybody. I typed in the code, I went in, I used the restroom, came out. It was incredible. I felt like, I felt like a like a hacker. You know, I felt like I was just I was in the system. You know, because typically you have to go to the front desk, get to the front like place to take your order and be like, hey, I need to use the restroom. Can you please unlock the door? They're like, sure, and so they hold down the buzzer that unlocks the door, and it's fine. But it's just, it, it was cool to be able to walk in and just type in the code, and then that was it. Um, and yeah, you know, aside from that, um, I got home, on my way home, I got some Cheetos. I gotta stop doing that, it's a horrible habit. Um, they gave me like P-E-B-T, which is like, um, kind of like, it's like EBT, but it was for people who were going to K through twelve education during during, uh, during COVID. Um, so they just gave me a hundred and twenty dollars. Um, I think in August, um, and I've got about forty dollars left, and that's a horrible habit. Where on my way home, I'm walking past this corner store, and I'm like, well, I should get some Cheetos with my free tax money, you know, that I got from the government, you know. Um, and it's a bad, it's a bad habit of mine, but you know. What, yeah. Cheetos aren't that bad for you. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're really bad for you. It's just like, I don't care. Like, I don't know. I'm on a fine weight. I don't, I'm not super worried about my weight anymore. I, you know, I can eat some Cheetos. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I think that's it. I went home. I finished my essay rough draft. I turned it in. Uh, and then I recorded this video, so, yeah, I'm feeling really good about my boots. <sighs> Alright, um, tomorrow I'm probably gonna update my Minecraft server, and yeah, alright, see you, dude.